So here is an explanation for the melatonin. So what is really melatonin? So melatonin is a hormone that is produced by the pineal gland in the brain and it is main function is related to regulating the sleep wake cycle and the circadian rhythm. Darkness triggers melatonin production which when secreted gives hypnotic effect which is a sleep effect. So when the environment gets dark the melatonin production goes up leading to hypnotic effect and making the human body sleeps. The light on the other hand decreases the production of the hormone leading to wakefulness. Now if you ask how the light and dark affect the melatonin production. So to explain this, well, we have a circuit between the eye, the suprachiasmatic nucleus in the hypothalamus and the pineal gland. When there is a lot of light in the environment, this would lead to activation of the suprachiasmatic nucleus to decrease the production of the melatonin in the pineal gland. Now if the environment is dark, then the opposite happens. By activating the suprachiasmatic nucleus to increase the production of the melatonin. Now insomnia became problematic when the artificial light was discovered. And the artificial light, same with the natural light, it also decreases the melatonin production and causes wakefulness and insomnia. And in the early 2000s comes the idea of using this hormone as a medication or a supplement to treat insomnia. And this is how the melatonin supplement looks like. So as we mentioned, the melatonin supplements was used for treatment of insomnia and improving sleep. It's also used for overcoming jet lag and for treatment of REM sleep behavior disorders. Now if you ask how the melatonin work to produce sleep, now it acts as agonist on the melatonin receptors including the melatonin receptor 1 and 2 in the hypothalamus to mediate sleep and regulate the circadian rhythm. Now regarding the pharmacokinetics of the medication and the supplement melatonin, so it is available as oral formulas only and it has good absorption with bioavailability of 2 to 50 percent and regarding the distribution the melatonin is bound to plasma proteins by 60 percent and the rest is free and active and it is metabolized by the cytochrome B450 enzymes in the liver and it is liable to be affected by the cytochrome B450 inducers and inhibitors. That means when the person is taking the melatonin and they also are taking another medication that is inducer of the cytochrome B450, this leads to lower levels of the melatonin in the blood. And the opposite, if the person is taking melatonin with a CYP inhibitor medication, then there is a higher levels of melatonin in the blood. And regarding elimination, 90% of the medication is eliminated through urine and the rest in bile. And elimination half-life is about 30 minutes. Now let's talk about the side effects of the melatonin. So it may lead to dizziness, fatigue, nausea, and exacerbated insomnia. It also may lead to hypertension, abdominal pain, heartburn, mouth ulcers, aggression, pruritus, glycosuria, increased weight, mood swings, tiredness, and abnormal 
liver function tests. Finally, regarding the contraindications of the use of the melatonin, so it is contraindicated in previous hypersensitivity reactions to the medication, and it is not recommended in autoimmune diseases. It is also not recommended in pregnancy, breastfeeding, and liver diseases. And with that, we reach the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Show your support by liking this video and commenting your ideas and questions. And also please check out my CNS Pharmacology Masterclass. I put a lot of work into that course. You can learn a lot about the central nervous system pharmacology by watching that. It will appear right now. And I have a lot of pharmacology content that you can check out by clicking on my channel.